gonna do a quick um, we're gonna do a quick video on ball. Uh, again, you could probably do this at home with um, a flat surface of some kind that's a little bit soft. Um, I want to say your sofa, but like the arm part of it, and maybe if you put some pillows or cushions on this side, would probably do the same thing as this. But if you have an expensive sofa, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it's kind of up to you. I'm trying to think of some other things you could possibly do. Uh, the bed would be a good one to do. Very good. Thank you. That's why I brought you here today, because you helped me out, buddy. You always do. Probably not rice and sit, probably not a bunk bed. That's probably very true because you'd squat up and smash your head in the bunk. You're absolutely right. See, that's why I teach them because I try to learn from them because they're smarter. All right. Um, so, what we're going to do is um, this would be your platform, and I'm just going to teach you how to get them just to do some. We don't have a board here because I know you don't have a, a springboard at home. So, we're just going to be jumping from the floor. One of the first things that you teach kids how to do is just to kind of do like a, um, back in the old days, maybe a leapfrog. We call it a squat in gymnastics. Come on up, Bryson. We're going to put our hands right here on either side, a little bit distance so we can put our feet up here. You're going to just teach the child to kind of jump at your toes here. You can lift the hips, okay? Okay, so bring your feet up and jump right up there. Good. Have them stand all the way up, okay? Walk to the end. And then on your couch or whatever platform, make sure they have something to jump off to that's soft. And then teach them to jump and reach up nice and high with your arms, jump to the feet. Jump and reach. Perfect. Excellent. Sticking is really important too. You try to have a contest with them that when they land, they land with bent legs and they land to try to not move. Okay, we're going to try and bring Bryson again. He's just going to walk up, squat to the top, toes, bring your toes up, good. Stand all the way up, walk to the end, arms down by your side, so jump and reach up front, land. Now when you land, you have got to land with bent legs, arms down by our sides, and then finish, okay? In gymnastics, we always finish with our arms up. It may look a little goofy if you guys at home, but that's what we teach in gymnastics, to keep skills nice, to keep uh, things crisp and so that we know when the skill is finished. Okay, jump off. Good. Stop. Good. And finish. Don't forget to finish. Finish facing the camera phone. Ready? Be together. Perfect. All right, good job. All right, try it again. I want each of you guys to do 10 of them, okay? Toes up. Walk to the end. Good job. Big jump. Perfect. Excellent. And you guys at home, you could probably practice about 10 of these or 20 or 30 or however long your mom and dad want you to practice to keep you out of their hair. Okay? Big jump. Good. And, and finish. Good. Excellent. And when we finish, when we finish, don't move real quick. Stand right here for me. When we finish, we want our feet together. We want our arms straight and our hands turned out. We want our head straight up. We want to pull our belly in and take a nice deep breath when we finish. Okay? Good job, buddy. Ready? Go ahead. Toes up, good, and big jump. Good job, Steve. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> finish, don't forget to finish. Okay, ready, big jump. Good. Stand, finish, good. Try to go up a little bit higher instead of out. Okay, let's try to Good, very nice, big jump up. What number are we on, guys? Four. Good job, okay, a little faster. Let's go through and fast. Try to jump, touch the ceiling. Try to have straight legs, finish, land, and then finish. Don't forget to finish. Really important, okay? So you always want to make yourself look the best. Try to jump as high as you can, like real straight. Good. Finish. 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 You gotta finish. Get over there. Finish. Straight arms. Go ahead. Big jump. Big jump. Straight. Finish. You gotta finish. Stay much better. That was a 10. That was a good one. Perfect. Good job, buddy. Big jump and step and finish. All right, one more time. Big jump, step and finish. All right, stop. Okay, so the next part of it we would do is we would do the run up to the jump. So this is kind of important that you learn how to get the children to run, hop, and then land with their feet together so that they would be jumping on a springboard, placing their hands, and then bringing their toes up. So let's move you guys back all the way to that spot right now. What I want you to do is, we're going to just practice the, the, the jump to it. So the, the best way to teach kids how to lift their leg up, push off their other leg, and lean with your feet, is kind of like a skip, but you're only going to do it on one leg. 
So, what I want you guys to try for me is I want you to go lift your legs up and lay your two feet. So, lift your leg up and lay your two feet. Right, right side. Lift up. Good. Perfect. Lift your leg up. Perfect. And lay on two feet. Good job. Good. Try to lift your knee up a little bit higher. Perfect. Good. Try it again. Lift your knee up. Good job. One more time. All right. So, now what they're going to do is they're going to run. And when they get down close to the horse, they're gonna, or the platform rather, they're gonna lift their knee up and land on two feet. Okay, I tell you how long I've been coaching. I call it a horse instead of a platform or a table. That was like 25 years ago. Okay, so you're gonna run up, and all I want you to do is lift your knee up and land. Don't even go up on the, on the, on the table yet, okay? Okay, so nice run, up, perfect, very nice. Give yourself, give yourself a, a nice hug, good job. Good, excellent. Let's do that 10 times. Nice run. Hop, boom. Good job. Very good. Go ahead. Nice run. Hop, boom. Good job. Excellent. Nice run. Hop, boom. Perfect. Very good. Nice run. Boom. Good job. That's okay. Make sure you land two feet. That's okay. Nice hard run. Boom. Nice. Very good. Perfect. Excellent. Now, each time you do it, when you land, I want you to, as soon as you land, I want you to put your hands on the table at the same time. Okay? Put your hands on the table. Perfect. All right, give it a shot. Go ahead. Nice run. Hop. Hands up. Perfect. Good job. Give it a shot, buddy. Hop. Perfect. Excellent. Go ahead. Nice hard run. Hop. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to incorporate the run, the hurdle, or the hop to the two-foot approach. We call that the hurdle. And then they're going to punch the floor, hands on the table, and they're going to bring their toes up to the top and stand up. Go ahead. Give us a nice squat to the top. Okay. Try it again for me. It was close. Go back and do it again for me. I want you to put your hands in. You just come out. You're so springy. Stop right up there. That's good, though. Put your hands down and squat. Perfect. <laughs> Good. Exactly. Put your arms up and walk to the end. That's okay. Jump back up. Walk to the end. Jump off stick. Good. Incorporate everything. That's the squat vault to the top and then just the jump off and stick. Okay. Give it a shot. Go ahead, buddy. Nice hard run. Put your knees down. Squat up. Good. Stand all the way up. Big jump. Finish. 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 Look at the camera. Good job. All right. Give it a shot. Nice hard run. Hands down. Squat. Good, good, good. That's okay. Big jump. Jump and stick. Perfect. All right, good shot, bud. Go ahead. Good, perfect. Okay, big jump off. Good job. Nice step back. Good job. Okay, go ahead. Give it a shot. Hands down. Squat up. Good, big jump. Nice. Good job. Excellent. Give it a shot, buddy. Good, and big jump. Excellent, perfect, easy stuff. Good job, go ahead. Good, try to land on that jump. If you can see when he was running, they, they have to remember to do that lift of the knee, hop, and then land on two feet before they go up, okay? And some kids, this is gonna be easy. Some kids are better eye-hand coordination. Some children are better with foot-eye coordination. Practice makes things better, so just be patient with them and just continue to I keep telling them each time when they're doing it well. One more time. Go ahead. Good. Big jump. Good. Okay. Give it a shot, big guy. Last one. Good. Big jump. Nice. Good job, Bryson. Go ahead. And speed. Good. Big jump. Nice. Okay. Guys, come on up here and sit for me real quick. We're going to do one more skill, but this kind of depends on the fact that you can do a front roll. Uh, one of our other videos, uh, we talked about how to do the front roll correctly. We're going to actually attempt to do the front roll here. It's kind of important that you know how to do it on the floor first. These guys do know how to do that. We're going to go ahead, place our hands on either side. They're going to tuck their head front roll, and they're going to roll all the way off to their feet and then finish. Remember how to do those guys? Okay, show us real quick. Front Probably, this is really short, okay? So you probably don't want to dive too far. Try to put your head right there. 
This isn't like the long one we used to use. This one's really short. Okay. Nice run. Feet together. Front roll. Good. How do you finish? Good job. Good try. Good. Remember to land your feet together, though, okay? Remember that hop. Good. Front roll. Good. How do you finish? Good job. Excellent. Hi, Bryson. He's right about here, okay? Good front roll. Punch back. <laughs> That's right, good. One more time. And in spotting it, I'm going to show you exactly where the best place to get them as they go up the scale. You just kind of want to reach and grab their, uh, their hips. Go ahead, front roll. Reach right here, and then make sure that they finish, okay? That's probably the safest place for you to reach, is just on either side of the hips. If they look like they're landing on their head, we don't want that. We don't want to hurt their neck or their head. And we want to kind of lift their hips. That'll help protect them. Kind of push their head under so that they front roll out. Okay? And again, you're going to learn that in the front roll video that we had talked about before. Okay? Go ahead. One more time. Good. Very nice. Excellent. A little squatty. That's okay. <laughs> One more time. Go ahead. Good job. Nice. Excellent. Perfect. All right, right now. Good job, buddy. Uh oh, that's okay. All right, come back here and sit real quick. We're going to be done vaulting for now. This kind of gives you just a basic idea and a basic understanding of just the simple beginnings of vault. But all of these things that you're going to teach at home, if they really do practice these, this goes into the squat vault over the, the large table. It'll also go to the front handspring where they go to handstand and push off. Um, it it, it kind of gives them a, a beginning to learning the basics of all the elements that lead to after this to more advanced level vaulting. So doing this and doing it well with a nice stick and straight legs and toes pointed and finishing is really important.